Muay Thai different than most other martial arts. My mission is to export this tradition. My mission is to export these different level Thai fighters for others to see. My mission is to show the real Muay Thai. We just landed in Bangkok, the home of Muay Thai, and I'm really excited, super excited. Really proud as a Lebanese promotion, as a foreign promotion, as an Arab promotion to come in the land of Muay Thai and in the Rajad Anmar Stadium. It is the first boxing arena in Thailand. You can't imagine how a great honor it is. So I'm really happy that the Thais themselves are going to see something that I think they've never seen before. <laughs> Hello. I like this style of gym. This is the real deal. This is where champions are made. Good to see you. So far as the Muay Thai champions, we have Bokao Benchamek, who's at the 70, 70 kilo. Uh, we have uh, Pakor, who has the belt. And we have uh, Sanchai, who has the belt. And of course, Yusuf, who's got the 72.5 kilogram belt, who will be defending it against Nopakao. Nopakao is the Lumpini champion, and uh, Yusuf is the Raja Damnern uh, champion. So there will be three belts on the line with Yusuf against Nopakao. The WBC, the Phoenix, and the Raja Damnern uh, title. And with Yasin's brother, again, the WBC belt will be at stake and the Phoenix heavyweight. Yassine. I hope uh, I will get this belt because uh, only the best have this belt. And uh, I'm so Definitely. proud. He knows what he's talking about. I'm proud only to the best. have uh, this belt soon. We'll see. It will be either Steve or Yassine. It's me, of course. Two days left. Let's see, may the best win. Because today for me, uh, I sign White Phoenix and I believe on Phoenix. And uh, I'm fighting more than over 15 years. And, uh, the first time I have the heart 100% for the Phoenix. And then uh, I was in my past Thai Fight Champion, Max Muay Thai Champion, and a mini belt like Wako, uh, Omnoist, two time champion, Raja Daman champion also. And, uh, Current Phoenix champion, he can have it. Yasin, you're going to have to wait. You got to train. It was like what? About. I think two hours ago we got in, three hours ago. Yeah. We had a quick bite. And we're gonna go for a run. Running for boxing. With the PSM gym. Running for boxing. You gotta train like a fighter. That's how uh, they welcome you here in Pattaya. You know? You gotta start with a 10k run. And we have six rounds of five minutes. Bad work. And then we've got another three rounds of five minutes on the back. And then we do some sporting with these beasts. This is the one, the way, or to counter for the elbow. Same the way, I feel hard, you know. For I want go for win, and WBC also. I I in the ranking already now for three years number one, and uh, I ready for take take it. I won't take it. I'm here for fight uh, Nopaka Osiri Irak Muay Thai is the current champion Lumpini. I think he's going to be hard fight, so I will defend my belt there. On the line we have another belt, prestigious belt, Phoenix belt, World Championship, and also uh, WBC Muay Thai World Championship. I still fight for the legacy. I want to be leader in my division in year to four years. I not lose and uh, I hope to continue to win and 
I have to confirm because the people think you get the champ, you just the champ, you had the champ forever. No, that's not, that's wrong. You have to be the champ each time when you step on the ring. And if one day you don't have the feeling anymore to step on the ring, just don't step. How many times I have to step on the ring is for prove myself and prove to the people, even I'm the champion, I'm also the challenger. Yusuf, he's got his own style, explosive. Man, every single fight is going to be exciting. I still can't believe that. I'm here in uh, Pattaya, training with one of the best fighters in the Thai world, and at the same time promoting one of the most exciting Muay Thai events that uh, the world will see this Monday. This is one of the exciting moments in Thailand because Phoenix is a world-class organizer of Muay Thai competition. Mr. Shahi Yerevanian, President of Phoenix Fighting Championship. Chief, I think there's something a bit even different than what Thailand usually sees. So the type of opponents we chose are something like in chemistry. You know, when you mix them together, you, know, you get an explosion. And I hope we get many explosions on Monday night. And on the final world, I would just like to say and clear my message that my main mission really is to take these Thai fighters and then show them to the Arab region and the world. Mm -hmm. So my aim is to export the, the beauty of the Muay Thai and the beauty of Thailand and these Thai fighters in Lebanon, in the Middle East, the Arab region, and the entire world through Phoenix. Yeah, it's one of the biggest reasons I think the fans should turn in on Monday is because you have 18 fighters. 18 world champions or previous world champions on one night on one card that does not happen. There are 10 belts on the line for one night. Name one show that has done that in the past. It has, I've never seen it. It's time we get to see it. On the middle of the logo, you know. Fighting for the WBC belt again is unbelievable within the self fighting at Rajanam Stadium. But also getting a chance to fight for the Phoenix belt as well, two belts in one night, is absolutely unbelievable, especially at such a prestigious stadium. I'm ready 100% to, to make my family proud and uh, my follower also. And uh, I'm happy to be there for show my skill and uh, what I do from a uh, long time. ก็รู้สึกก็ภูมิใจครับที่ได้เอ่อชกมวยที่ประเทศไทยครับแล้วก็เอ่อฟินิกส์เค้าก็มาจัดที่ประเทศไทยก็ดีใจก็ภูมิ
all the fans are gonna go, I want to drink it too. <laughs> yeah. So this is it. So when you show Thailand and Muay Thai, without saying come to Thailand, people are gonna look and say, I wanna go there. Because <laughs> this is the psychology yeah. of people. You say do it, they won't do it. You say, okay, whatever, and you're doing it, and they're like, I wanna do it too. So this is what we want to do. <laughs> We're here at the Hilton in Pattaya for our last day. My first time at Bangkok, so I'd like to go see the real landmarks there. Second of all, of course, I'd like to go visit the main fighter's gym. And uh, third of all, of course, I'm excited to go see the Rajadendran Stadium because that's going to be the first time I step in this legendary boxing arena. Say it again. Rajadendran. Oh my God, no, that's... See that? You got to say, listen to me. No, I, it's not a question of worry. It's a question of today. You're in the oldest, most respectable stadium. No, Rajada. Rajadam Nern. Rajadam Nern Stadium. Rajadam Nern Stadium. Right? Rajadam Nern. Rajadam Nern. That's it. See when I do it in my silly voice. Exactly. Well. We are late to visit uh, Sexan in his gym in Somai. And looks like the only way in uh, Bangkok, it's been an hour in the car, we got out of the car, is these guys. So, that's the best way to go around Bangkok. On the bike, the Bangkok way. best Thai fighters. We're here to train a bit with them, get to know them, as my mission is to go to every single gym in Thailand and get to discover these best fighters and take them with us in Phoenix. Okay, who's the best? <laughs> huh? You want to train in music, son? Yeah. Right. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, you know? I gotta take things in hand. Not many people would dare to do this in the middle of the best gym in Thailand and Bangkok. Having all these beasts. Okay, they chose my opponent. something else but it's just the feeling to, to spar with like one of the best Thai fighters it's just awesome a dream come true yes I want to see two these are the top fighters of uh, Somai gym which is one of the leading gyms in uh, Bangkok in Thailand this is the type of fighters that usually you do not see on TV so my aim is to show this real Muay Thai, these real fighters fighting full five rounds in the Arab region and of course and all over the world. <laughs> Every single fighter you see here is a champion. So we're actually here taking the best of the best. So we're watching some of the best fighters so we can see whose style is more adaptable and more suitable for Phoenix. Because in Phoenix, what I care is those dramatic, explosive fighting. Not just pure technique so that all the fans are entertained as well as watching a good fight. So this is a bit of a tryout. Exactly. It's like in the gladiator, you know, years. Coming out, putting all these gladiators. And uh, the Roman king is here to, to select the best for his army. like a presentation of fighter we come to meet in very big promotion so today we watch all champions 
And uh, this is uh, one part of one big promotion in Thailand. Have many part of promotion, but this is the one of the big. Ready? We just finished picking the main fighters from he, uh, from Somai Gym here in Bangkok. We came back, we actually started doing the matchmaking for the 27th of April. Of we might have a four man tournament in the 61 kilogram category. These fighters are so much in demand that some of them are already booked in Japan, all over the world, in China. And uh, we got to book them from now, so we can have a, just an exceptional event. Amazing to see myself on one of the oldest, the oldest Muay Thai boxing arena in the world, especially in Thailand. This is where Muay Thai has started. Finally, I see Rajadamnan Stadium, I'm saying. My dream comes true. So, yeah, so also, we describe this, the kickboxing you see outside of Thailand it's like watching television on mm. a black and black and white television. But Shahe wants to take Muay Thai and show them kickboxing on a color television. So real it's like Muay Thai. the real Muay Thai. Yes, this is it. We just visited the Raja Damnern. That was the first time for me. And uh, well, that's one of the things in life that will stay, uh, you know, as a memory. So can't wait for tomorrow for the real fight. Just the smell, the atmosphere, it's amazing. You gotta be here to believe it. But still, they don't know what the real Muay Thai is. And no one has promoted it yet. So I want to show them the real Muay Thai by coming and doing it made in Thailand. The real Muay Thai, show to the Arab world, made in Thailand Muay Thai, not made in USA or made in France, or made in China. It's made in Thailand. I want the genuine Muay Thai. People see this is genuine Muay Thai. I want five rounds. I want all the Muay Thai rules that is present here and export this and tell them what you see is a derivative of Muay Thai. This is Muay Thai. Cheers. Cheers. And God bless what your family. Say? What do you say in Arabic? Sahten. 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 Thank you for everything. Thank you very much. Guys, see you in uh, see you in Chinatown. We're in this tuk tuk in the streets of Bangkok. Tomorrow, I think at. Uh, 5.30 in the morning, we'll have to be at the Raja Damnern for the official weigh-ins. Thank you. No pad thai. It's shark. Shark is Shark? Yeah. Shark? Shark. shark. Yes. We're in Chinatown in Bangkok. You know, after a nice dinner, just walking a bit, relaxing. It's, uh, as you can see, it's another world. All kinds of people. I think that's Grant running. There he is. Well, it's 6 a.m. here in Bangkok at the Rajadamnan Stadium. Who is, they do the weigh-ins same day, early in the morning, 6 a.m. Grant, because it's healthier, and it's, uh, I think, fairer for the fighters. The law is Yes. 
So we, uh, we take back uh, the recovery of the loose weight, so uh, take time like uh, around 12 hours to 11 hours to be in stage here on 6 o'clock. So we shake weight on uh, 6 and uh, we fight on 6. Today I challenge myself until day of fight, so today's day of fight is a happy day for me. Ah. Basically speechless. This feels like, I don't know, you know, like standing in the middle of the Madison Square Garden before a Muhammad Ali fight. This is how basically big it feels. And this is uh, basically the same equivalent. Raja Damner Stadium in Bangkok. The best is yet to come. Cannot wait. Been waiting months for this. Our fans have been waiting months. And in a few hours, it's gonna be explosion. Well, we're on the famous taxi boat in Bangkok. Gonna go visit some temples. Land of the smiles. What I, what I noticed walking around during our free time, during these two, three days, is how actually nice the people of Thailand are. Wherever you go, whatever neighborhood you're in, Every single thing that I've been doing in Bangkok these past few days will definitely mark a special place in my heart. Well, so far it's just been amazing. It's like a dream here. And especially as a martial artist, as a promoter, you just can't get better than this. The reclining Buddha. You gotta love it. Not only it's the first time a foreign promoter actually promotes such an event in the Rajadhanan Stadium, but a few people walking around in front of the stadium were actually telling me, Mr. Shahid, do you know that each of your fights can be the main fight of other events? Meaning that basically I have more or less nine main fights in one event. We will have six Phoenix World titles on the line. We will have three WBC titles on the line. And of course, we will have the one Raja Demner title. Really, we have nine explosive fights, nine fights that are considered to be as main card fights. I can promise you that we are going to have one hell of a night. The Damner Stadium was actually built in 1941. It's the oldest Muay Thai stadium in Thailand, and it's the most famous Muay Thai stadium in the world. Most of the top Thai fighters actually fight in the Raja Damner Stadium, and all of the Muay Thai international fighters dream one day for them to have a fight in this exceptional and legendary arena. <laughs>
it's a good uh, experience. I like to fight. I feel happy, proud to fight in Raja Dublin and for Phoenix Muay Thai. I feel good. I don't. I didn't take any damage in it. I mean, I've got a couple bruises and bumps, but that's kind of normal. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the victory. I wish I had. Uh, maybe we'll get to do it again. I'd love to. I slacked a little bit. I think I could have done a little bit better on certain aspects of my game. Um, but, I mean, that's how it goes. We live and learn. the national sport of, of Thailand. The beauty of uh, Muay Thai is using the eight limbs, of course. When you watch a real Muay Thai fight, it's like a chess game. It's like surgeons fighting against each other. So it's really tactical. They are like snipers waiting for the right moment. And then as the rounds move on from round one to round two to round three, you see also the level of intensity increasing. Upon my performance today, I feel good. Uh, I wait. My kids ask me to make a KO round three, so <laughs> I, the, K, the KO become a round three, so I'm happy. Uh, the game is game, you know. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You have to accept it. At the moment, I just win, and uh, I'm very proud and happy to win and win and win and win for now uh, close to four years and not much. What do you have left to prove in this sport? You've been undefeated for four years now. Challenge. Every day I challenge myself until the day of fight. When I, I step on the ring, I'm happy. I just enjoy it. I don't have to fight Thai. If I can show Muay Thai to the other side, I don't know how to fight Muay Thai. อ่าผมก็เป็นแบบมวยบูครับก็ขึ้นได้ละครั้งก็ไม่อยากให้พี่น้องแฟนมวยผิดหวังครับเลยผมก็ตั้งใจจะทําหน้าที่เป็นวิ
the, the, the presence, the fire, that's, and the sound, the smell, everything. But tonight it was something else. I still can't believe it. It, has, it still hasn't sunk in. I can really proudly say that Phoenix 5 is definitely one of my favorite events. Muay Thai is a real sport. And Muay Thai has a big future. I think maybe it took time for it to be recognized because of the violence of this combat sport. But now people are realizing that Muay Thai is not just a combat sport. Muay Thai is not just a martial art. Muay Thai is a way of life.